hello guys you may know this picture right here it's been around the social networks and it's talking about a solar eclipse um, there's one thing that you know when it's gonna be a solar eclipse and that's something good but another thing is to know exactly the details um, a lot of people confuse these things and believe that they will be visible everywhere you are and uh, now as you can see this this another another um, uh, image of the solar eclipse um, everybody can see the eclipse it is possible to see it from everybody but only through the internet because this eclipse it will be visible only in one little small part of the world I will this is a website um, a NASA website about eclipses you can just go to Google and type as uh, eclipse and NASA and then you will get to this page right here um, the setup that I have already is the uh, solar eclipse for May 10 2013 and right here this is one thing we need to see uh, this this line right here between the blue the red and the blue this is where the clips will be visible a hundred percent or, or uh, what they call uh, a greatest eclipse this is the only part of the world where the clips will be visible like they will see the ring of fire because this is an annular eclipse means the moon will be between the sun and the air but the distance it will be just exact to let just a little small circle or a ring of the sunlight to be true and then we can see it from Earth but remember the blue lines marks the south, north and south of the borders of the eclipse and it's gonna you know be traveled from Australia only very single part there are some Iceland in here and it will be ending on the Pacific Ocean once you're here, if you click on this uh, link right here, it will give you more uh, details about this. This will tell you, this is like a little map or, or a schematic of diagram of this um, uh, so an annular annular solar eclipse will be in May 13, per, I'm sorry, May 10, 2013. Uh, one of the things we need to find out is this. Uh, like I showed you on the little uh, image before, this is the part where the bee uh, the greatest eclipse will be available be able to see it in here but also all this area which is included a big part of this and almost all Australia there will be the chance for them to see the eclipse but not at, on a, in a graded way it will be just partial uh, back here in, in 2012 uh, May 20 we have the chance to see the eclipse like that on, on, a, on North America and, uh, like half of the uh, country will be able to see only a partial eclipse but there the west coast and like Nevada California there were um, they have the chance to see 100% the annular eclipse and they see this the string of fire that I'm talking about but the point is uh, only in this part of the war the eclipse will be visible in partial way now we're gonna look at the times the first contact with the eclipse It is marked in here as a P1, and at time show it is a 21 hours 25 minutes universal time, which is going to be around this area. This is where the eclipse is going to start, and it's going to move this way. Now the last contact of the eclipse is marked on P4, which is means as a 3 hours and 25 minutes universal time. Now how how can we know that wherever you are in the world, you will match the universal time? Remember. Uh, when uh, uh, things happen on a space like uh, eclipses or comets or stuff like that everything related with the space they always use universal time and then what you have to do and then is convert this universal time to your time uh, zone whatever you are in the world I'm gonna show you a website a very easy way to do this this is right here this is the uh, the browser let me make this thing a little bit bigger okay you just click uh, uh, type the time zone converter dot com once you're here this is a very good program I like it you can convert the time for example this is the local time I'm in Houston right now and in Houston it's a 640 a.m. which is called uh, central time if we convert that to UT coordinate universal time it means that for anybody who's be on a, on a universal time zone it will be 1140 a.m. so we only just few hours uh, now to know the date we just need to look at the time of the greatest eclipse it's marked at 0.25 hours universal time 
this means or this being called in the greatest eclipse which is means is the maximum eclipse this is a perfect area to see the eclipse so what we do in here is just go back to the page we type 0 25 hours and it will take you to 8.25 p.m. a previous day. What, what does this mean right here? It's this. Uh, this is the time market on universal time. Remember, the eclipse will be visible only in this part of the war. And as you know, probably this, this area right here, it, take, it, it, talk, it, it uses different time that in, on uh, North America. So what it means is that on May 10, 2013, at this time, Universal time is going to be the greatest eclipse, but for anybody who is not on this time, but uh, probably in Central Time or on the, in my case, I'm in Houston. The eclipse will be actually the greatest eclipse will be actually at 7:25 p.m. on the previous day, which is means that for North America, the eclipse actually will be on May 9, like after 7 p.m. You can click in here. It depends where you are. You can click in here the uh, the country where you are to see exactly at what time the eclipse will start. At least if you don't be there right to see it, but you can probably just uh, uh, go to the internet and and see this eclipse a lot live. Uh, let's try uh, let's say Alaska. There's two different times in Alaska, but for them will be at 4:25 p.m. on the May 10, 9. So. It's marked as a May 10 because it's located at 0 0.25 hour, hours and universal time, and it's 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 located on the Pacific a Ocean in that area. But if you want to see it, you need to be ready to you know make your research online and, and check these websites a day before in the afternoon. Okay, now just a, a quick review about where the eclipse will be visible. Um, according to the map that NASA shows us, it's going to be visible on all this area right here, including Indonesia, the Philippines, all this area, New Zealand, and most of the Australia will see it on a partial way. Only remember, only this little part right here, that's where the eclipse will be visible on an annual, uh, annular, uh, annular eclipse. Will be the chance for data send is called Ring of Fire safety if for for any reason you are you got the chance to be there uh, and, and, and you know got the chance to be on those areas that I show you and you're gonna you're going to see this eclipse live with your naked eyes it is very recommend that you use some protection for your eyes this is the special glasses uh, shade glasses they are made it exactly to view the Sun you can you know be the, see the Sun you can see the solar eclipse like this it, it they will be a good protection for your eyes. I will don't recommend to use nothing else than this because these things are made in for this purpose. Uh, keep in mind this: uh, the sun has some rays that they're not visible and probably they, they don't even feel it when you are in touch with them, like gamma rays, UV light, UV uh, ultra ultraviolet rays. But the point is that when this uh, um, rays from the sun get in contact with your eyes, it will be make a very uh, permanent damage to them you will not feel it at all you will not probably notice but for sure you will get damage in your eyes it could be very small damage and it could be a very worse damage like lose your eye you know like be blind and that's because you don't protect your eyes so if you got a chance to see it use protection use uh, the correct protection for your eyes now how can you see this uh, eclipse if you're not on the, in the area this website it's a very good website I, I've seen it before I tried it and it's amazing they have uh, connections telescope connected in different parts of the world and these guys are so professional you will don't find any buyers or stuff like that this is the link this is not home page but this is what I recommend you to do just go to events.slope.com and then what you're gonna do is just once you're here you're gonna look for the event like in this case they already start promoting this um, uh, event for the penumbrals uh, lunar eclipse will be on May 20, 25th they will be also showing the uh, this is a video right here would explain you how they will show in the uh, annular solar eclipse on May 10 2013 so I recommend you to do is uh, just get into this website remember the time 
um, whatever you are on the on the world if you want to see it you convert the universal time what the greatest eclipse will be and then check on your time zone so that way you can see exactly at the time these guys will be um, showing this eclipse you can be probably looking at the same time um, another thing before I finish this video is show you this website this is a page um, a Facebook page uh, this is the link right here it's facebook.com slash astronomy Houston I created this page almost uh, it's gonna be almost a year I did it for the transit of Venus 2012 and it was it was pretty good um, if you can I will appreciate it if you can click on a, a like I don't make money on this page and the only thing I do is just look for the uh, for the people to get in contact with astronomy to learn to know uh, I, I put in here some pictures that are mine I take pictures of this page I do astrophotography but also I put uh, information and pictures related uh, related with the space from NASA and from other space uh, related pages so if you can please uh, like this page guys well this is it guys um, remember this is an annular solar eclipse um, it will be on May 9 at 10 for the people who are in America, uh, North, South America, Central America, it will be on May 9 in the afternoon. If you got the time and you like to see it, you can click on the website. I'm gonna put all these links in the description of this video. Uh, if you got a chance, you can look, click there and see this eclipse live. Uh, there will be other websites that probably do the same thing. So if you like, you just Google and see where you can see the uh, solar annular solar eclipse live on May 10. Remember, for us, we'll be on May 9 on the afternoon. Now, about this image right here, the first thing I see, honestly, when I see it on a Facebook page, was this shared experience. Uh, the first thing that came on my mind when I see this image is now that if you know that it's going to be in a solar eclipse, but actually, if you are there and you take pictures, this is one thing you can do, share the experience, because there's a lot of us that like to see these things and for some reason we cannot travel all the way there but if you got the opportunity and chance to do it uh, we're glad I'm real glad for the people who can get there and, and, and see this this is a privilege for me um, so if you got a chance I'll, uh, you know I encourage you to share share this this image or picture that you take there's a lot of Flickr and Facebook or if you like to do on a transit of Venus 2012 Facebook page I will be so glad if you do it remember I don't make any profit on the website it's just I just do it because I love the astronomy and I like to share with other people the things that I know uh, thank you very much for you know for your time and, and, and look at this watch this video and I hope this thing can be helped you and somehow thank you and have a nice day